<laughs> oh god guys so Forza Horizon 4 has finally been released it is finally here and I cannot wait to hop into this game of course I got early access and, and you guys can get early access too if you go ahead and buy the ultimate edition and that's how you can hop in and play a few days before the actual release date so with the ultimate edition it comes out on the 28th and then just with the standard edition you can get it on October 1st so it's here that's what we're gonna be playing today and and yeah just checking it out and I figured this would be the first episode or the first part to our Forza Horizon 4 playthrough i loved forza horizon 3 as you guys can see it's right here in my games and, and like i put a lot of hours into this game so i'm excited for horizon 4 and i think it's gonna be a ton of fun and it's a good opportunity to make content so if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see more forza videos make sure to let me know down in the comments smash that thumbs up other than that click that subscribe button if you are new around here and uh yeah let's get into it let's get in to the game There are actually like a ton of things I'm excited about for this game. We have dynamic seasons, we have all that stuff, and I think it's just gonna be really fun to hop in and experience all the new content, everything that's new within the game. So I haven't loaded it up and played it all on Xbox. I have played on PC, I've played the demo, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it runs on the, the original Xbox One. And uh, yeah, let's get going. So of course, just like just like you know every other forza game we have the uh turn 10 studios and all of these like intro loading screen things that that go down you know but once we get in here we are hit with the forza horizon for what is this like the menu the loading screens like what, what would you guys call this this is just kind of like the the menu page right and here it's showing you kind of an example of the dynamic seasons Crazy stuff guys, crazy crazy things. Forza Horizon 3 took place in Australia and of course we had areas such as the Outback and just crazy areas like that. Now, I'm really interested to see what they bring to the table with Britain. We're here in Britain I believe and it's gonna be interesting to see what the whole map contains. You can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. That's the horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to autumn. A new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. So I thought I would just turn the webcam off and let you guys enjoy that cinematic. This intro, this intro race is absolutely insane. So sit back, enjoy the gameplay guys. This is the introduction to Forza Horizon 4. This is the beginning. This is the beginning to a new series here on the channel. I was thinking about what I should actually call it, what I should call this series. And I was thinking a good name. Oh, we're gonna hit a rock. Oh my, our first crash. Goon moments. The goon moments are here to stay, guys. But I was thinking about what I should actually call this series. And I was thinking maybe Forza fails. Because we fail a lot we fail a lot already example one hitting that rock getting ahead of myself trying to go too fast like look at our car we already destroyed a car in forza horizon 4 let's get it that's all i gotta say that's the kind of gameplay you get to experience here on the channel nowhere else you can't experience this gameplay anywhere <laughs> anywhere else man anywhere else why to rewind we don't like using those rewinds i like doing legit races you know we're gonna transition over to winter here it's crazy it's absolutely unreal that they're doing this that that this is actually happening and the seasons change in your game 
as time goes on, like all of a sudden it's going to go to fall, and then winter, and then to spring. It's just going to be unreal to experience. Unreal. Now uh, this is a little bit of a change. These things are a little slower, that's for sure. This reminds me a lot of Blizzard Mountain. It was a DLC for Horizon 3. And I think that's probably where they got the idea, you know? They, they went ahead, they were like, yo, let's put out DLC that's a Blizzard Mountain. It's literally a snowy mountain for Horizon 3. And then they were probably like, man, we need to bring snow in to Forza Horizon 4. So it's here. It is here. I can't wait to see how it plays out. Dynamic seasons. A ton of crazy new things. New cars, new races, a new map. Like a whole new world to explore. The world is yours in this game. And I think that's something I really, really enjoy. Is that you can just hop in and explore. Do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. And experience whatever you want to experience. If you want to be in a super fast car, you can be in a super fast car. If you want to be in a super slow car, an old school low rider or something, you know, you, you can do that. You just go ahead, buy it, make it possible. It's all possible here in Forza Horizon. On to spring. So winter to spring, and now you guys can see it's like rainy. The colors are very vibrant and popping, and we're in the rally car. Spring is in the air. We got dirt bikes up in here for all the moto homies. All right, guys, this will be easy. It suits us, man. These racing games are a ton of fun. I love shooters. I can't deny the fact that I love shooter, like shooter games, and they're definitely, you know, the number one in my heart. But a good off-road game, nothing beats it. Nothing beats it. And Forza Horizon just has everything. Like it literally has everything and now pay attention to this guys because all the bikers are actually gonna crash they're actually gonna crash <laughs> which is kind of wild by the end of it they all go down or maybe there's one left i'm not sure we'll see here by the end a couple of them battling with us right now though taking shortcuts doing backflips all sorts of crazy things going on here in the first race we got this jump here, and Buddy comes flying out of nowhere on that yellow bike. Hey Blue, thread the needle with me. One down, I think. I think one crashed, or maybe not. We're getting close to the red end down, of this race. Yeah, see, red went down. These guys are all gonna go down. They take each other out. And it's just me me and blue. Looks like I'm the only just one me left. and blue. And we're drag racing to the finish line. Boom. And now do we switch to summer or is that it? Did we start in summer? Summer. Here we go. Summer to end it off, guys. This is it, Horizon. We are kicking off the summer season with the greatest, the race, greatest of all race of all time. The first one to the festival wins, guys. That is our mission. Let's go. I'm super excited for this game, and I'm planning on bringing like a ton of different types of videos to the channel. I want to do challenges. And I want to really experience the whole entire game. I want to try out different different types of races. I don't want to, you know, like just be stuck stuck on supercars or rally cars or whatever. I really want to experience the, the full game. So we may be reaching or, or aiming for 100% completion here in this game. That could be our goal. And if you guys enjoy the Forza Horizon 4 gameplay, then what do, what do I have to lose, right? What do I have to lose? Oh, the hypercar runs into the back of the truck. <laughs> right into the back of the truck. We are flying. What are we going? 260 kilometers an hour? That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast, guys. Holy crap. We're almost hitting 300. I know I've had cars before that do like 400, but... Here we go. Coming towards the finish line. And bam. 
welcome to the festival. This is crazy. This is an absolutely insane start to the, the game. Like, it, it's absolutely crazy the, the way they did this. Rather than just, like, getting thrown in and doing kind of like a standard race as an introduction, you get to see all the seasons. They're kind of introducing, like, the new changes that they brought to the table. They're like, yo, check out the dynamic seasons. You guys can see that the, the seasons are changing, you know? We got all four seasons in the game. And then this is pretty cool here, too. It's like kind of showing some backstory of the festival. You know, we got Rebecca, we got Kira from Forza Horizon 3. And then look at this. So she's, she's looking and she's looking for me. She's trying to find me. So we get to choose a character here. And then we'll we'll get into choosing cars and all that. So I just want to take a moment to say here that like they really took time to improve the whole introduction aspect into the game. Like you get thrown in and I'd say they took some inspiration from the crew too with that style of race. Like in the crew too, you go from different types of activities. So you go from the boat to the plane to the car in the introduction and then here we went through all the seasons so i'd say they took some some inspiration from the crew too and put it into this game but it, it's so cool to see that introduction race and then you'll see going on from here that there are a lot of little things and a lot of little details like you know how you choose your first car and stuff that they've actually improved on like a ton it's just the little things that that make the game that much better so if you think about it horizon 3 was released two years ago two years ago so two years later they've learned a lot let's choose a new character let's get into it hey nice to meet you i'm kira director of the festival looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts this one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster rebecca's one of our former champions she's giving me a hand running the horizon road racing series excited I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? So obviously they have high expectations for us. We can't actually talk. Like, we can't talk. There's no voice for our character. Or else they would have to have a voice for, like, all the characters. But we get to choose a car and just... Take a look at the way you choose a car. You know, when you select a car, I am going to go with the Ford Focus just because it's like a good all-around vehicle. But you get to actually inspect the car, kind of see the car, see what it has to offer, see the interior, see the exterior, and then you actually get an offer to confirm at the end here. So you don't actually have to get in and drive this car. So there's the Ford Focus. That's the first option. We then have the Audi TTS Coupe. And if you select this one, same well. thing. We'll get to we'll see it. Why later. Right now, we need to get you racing. And then the final car here is the Dodge Charger RT. And this oh car, word, it's yes. a powerful you car. It is. Long. But once again, I think I'm going to go with the Ford Focus just because it's a good all-around vehicle. It can off-road, it can do street, it can handle it all. It can handle it all. The thing about the Audi is it can't really do the off-road. This car probably can't really do the off-road. And the Focus, it's just good. It, it's good for all-around racing. So that's why I go with the Ford Focus. And I find racing games do that a lot. They'll go ahead and they'll give you like one option geared towards one thing one option geared towards another thing and then one kind of like in between option All so right, let's get you we're gonna go ahead and choose play. a license plate on, you guys already you. know you guys already know what we're gonna do up in here we're gonna join that goon squad with goonzig license plate as goonzig and then here at the end we'll just put one of these maybe that one there goonzig join that goon squad guys put your license plate as goon or something and join that goon squad let's let's go guys i'm too excited to, to literally just explore the world explore the whole entire world so to start off we get two events we get the horizon festival sprint which is an exhibition race and then the ambleside sprint which is a road racing series exhibition event as well so two events to kick it off and maybe that will be next video let's go ahead and just drive around for a little bit though like take this in guys a new forza game this is too hype this is <laughs> unreal just unreal is this a road racing course in the festival as well 
huge things, man. Oh my god. That's crazy. There is a road racing course in the festival. It's almost like a little go-kart track, but that's unreal. Unreal. Just look at the colors in the game. It is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. So we are going to save the events for next episode, but I thought before I ended off, I would hop in and just check out everything the menu has to offer. So I actually haven't earned the capabilities to go into like a lot of the stuff, but we can check out the basics. So of course you have the world map here and just to see the map, like we, we can't actually go around and zoom out or anything, but take this in. There's a huge city up here some bridges there so maybe some dlc that's gonna be out there who knows but like look at all these areas that we can explore like the map oh my oh my god this is huge we have the weather in the top left and then we can't actually go into drone mode or anything can i go into picture mode i just want to take a screenshot so I don't know why we can't actually hop in and like take a photo or anything like go into the photo mode or anything yet For some reason it restricts that until you like buy a house or something I'm not sure what's going on, but that is the introduction to Forza Horizon 4 guys We did like the the introduction race the the kind of first race that you get to do it throws you right into it And now we are free to explore we got two events to do which are gonna be next episode of this series so be sure to tune into the channel for those guys. I'm not sure when I'll have them out, but click that subscribe button so that you don't miss those. And uh, yeah, guys, just, just look at the colors in this game. Like, this is going to be unreal, and I can't wait to get into it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me, and I'll catch you guys all in another video. Peace out.